Fully extended, this remote controlled concrete pump is more than 50 meters long. Under normal circumstances, it's used in the construction trade. Now, a pump like this has made the trip from southern Germany to Fukushima. Originally, it was on its way to another customer, but the marketing rep in Tokyo acted quickly and diverted it to the scene of the disaster. We ask whether the pump is working smoothly in Fukushima. As far as we know, the pump is working. We're not on site, and we don't have any other information except what comes from TEPCO either. But as far as we know, it's working and successfully carrying water into Reactor 4. Here, another pump is being tested. The one in Fukushima is working around the clock. Two and a half thousand liters a minute, fresh water, seawater, concrete, the pump can handle them all. A machine like this costs well over half a million euros. But the manufacturer has yet to receive any money from Japanese energy company TEPCO. Things had to go quickly. They'll agree on a price later. We were just happy to be able to help out. I don't think it's that important which company's machine is there. The main thing for us was to have a positive effect and help prevent a disaster. Another company in Baden-Württemberg is also trying to help. The Kerntechnische Hilfsdienst was started by Germany's nuclear power plant operators. After the earthquake, it offered to send specialized equipment to Fukushima. This excavator, for example, can be remote controlled from a distance of several kilometers, far from any contamination. It was based on a construction machine, but all the radio control circuitry has been added on, as well as the shielding for the electronics on board. These shielded machines can collect data, as well as clean up and decontaminate places that are too dangerous for humans to enter. Members of staff are always on call in case of an emergency in a German nuclear power plant. This emergency was in Japan. TEPCO has yet to respond to the offers of assistance. We mainly get our information from the news on TV. We don't have anything else. We ask whether the equipment has been officially offered to the Japanese. This offer to make equipment and facilities available to Japan has been open the whole time. That includes instruction on how to operate the specialized machines. Back in Eichtal at the manufacturer of the concrete pumps, training is also an issue. It takes practice to be able to operate large machines like this safely. It isn't a skill that can be learned overnight. It took this operator seven years. Even an introductory course usually takes at least two weeks. But the workers at Fukushima had only two days to learn the skills they needed. The manufacturer has remained in contact with Japan to help iron out any problems that might arise. We maintain contact with the people on the scene, and in an emergency, we're prepared to jump in and help, using helmet cameras, for instance. The machines can be operated through a teleservice. We can even see how the machine is being used from here. Putzmeister has offered the disaster teams another machine that's 70 meters long. The company has experience working in contaminated areas. In 1986, it supplied pumps for the efforts to contain the Chernobyl disaster.